what's up guys today i'm gonna be doing a video on my eastern tiger salamander setup and care like requirements for lighting all that fun stuff and yeah so just get into it so first thing you need and then um let's talk about sorry first thing we're going to talk about is your diet what i've been like using tiger salamander is crickets um mealworms and we get to a little bit bigger superworms i feed them silkworms really any type of insect except doobie roaches the doobie roaches bodies are too hard for salamanders to digest so that's the only insect i would not look for when feeding it to your salamander because they will might not be able to digest it so um by the way this light is on just for this video it's never on you shouldn't um, use light for your song vineyard. Let's get to the second topic. Lighting. You do not need lighting for an eastern tiger salamander or any salamander species, mole salamander species out there. They do fine in a closet, a corner, with no lighting because their temperature has to stay at about 65 to 60 degrees max. And, um, yeah, so they, they, they don't have any have to have any type of lighting. They don't need any type of heating. They're fine at room temperature. As long as your house doesn't get too hot, they should be fine. Because they can overheat. Believe it or not, they can get they can overheat. They can't get too cold, but they will overheat. And yeah, so that's something you want to look out for. The next thing I want to talk about is our water. I use this this water dish because mine's kind of tiny. Once it gets a little bit bigger. I'm going to upgrade it. And these guys need a big water dish because they're semi-aquatic. So they like big water dishes to swim around in. And yeah, so just make sure you get a big water dish. And that stuff floating in there right now is just poop, uh, shed skin, because these guys do shed. I have rocks in there. It's those two rocks for easy access. And yeah. They do like they do like to get in the water. Um, I have these rocks over here just for them to climb on and go underneath if he wants, just for like extra protection, you know. So like right now, let's see if he is tempted to go for the finger. He's not. These guys are very food active. Like if you put anything in front of them, it looks like a worm. I'm afraid he's gonna dry out with this light. So one sec, put him back in the water. I don't want him to dry out because this light's on. If you're afraid that your salamander will get squished by rocks that are in your cage or a hive, don't use it because they will dig underneath it because they do burrow. They go pretty deep, which is why the substrate's pretty decently deep. Um, and it can crush them and potentially kill them. So you just want to make sure, make sure you don't put any risk of that. So yeah, sorry, sorry about that. Siri popped up on my phone for a second. You just want to make sure you don't risk that with rocks falling on there. And I have a little heat thermometer on the side of the cage, which isn't accurate right now because the light's on. When it's off, it's perfect temperature for him. And yeah, these guys are just great. Um, let's talk about where you can find them. These guys are so hard to find. Like I had to order mine offline. Of underground reptiles because I've never seen a ti eastern tiger salmon or any tiger salmon or species in a pet store. Now, the, 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 ter <laughs> the terminal where you live that could be different for you, but for me, I do not find them anywhere. So, but once again, it's all different for everybody. Um, so yeah, I ordered off my mine offline, it was only like 20 bucks, but the shipping was like $44. Which is uh, honestly good because you can't find these guys anywhere. So I say if you find one online or anywhere and you have the money, pick it up because chances are you'll probably never see it again because they sell it quick as well. Because everybody that's into amphibians, amphibians and collect them and reptiles are looking, chances are they're looking for a tiger salamander. So you so want to be careful for that. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, God. <clears throat> They do start off in the larvae stage. Um, 
so you have to keep them in the water uh the, when they're in the water stage i wouldn't recommend getting the water stage because it's hard to take care of but <clears throat> they don't need to filter anything underwater but they do live full aquatic until they grow and they develop legs and lungs instead of gills um what was i gonna say Um, I have a little brain fart here, sorry. Um, they need, need at least a 10 gallon tank or more. Honestly, 10 gallons is good for mine because as we see, he's pretty tiny. Um, I probably will upgrade to a 20 or 15 once he gets a little bit bigger because he's just a baby and now he's only like seven inches. It's about 12 inches. Um, now there are other tiger salamander species. There's the, uh, barred tiger salamander species. And the tiger, or I mean the eastern tiger. I have the eastern tiger. Um, if you look online, there's these ones that are like black and yellow, and they're called barred, barred salamanders. Um, they're pretty much the same. They just get a little bit bigger. They don't get any bigger, but they're just a different color, different pattern. So this is an eastern tiger salamander, the brown and black, and the barred salamanders like a yellow and black kind of purplish and i'll put a picture of the bard one right now that's the bard salamander and yeah but these guys are great i recommend them to any amphibian or lover <laughs> they're so derpy and they will eat anything so make sure you don't overfeed them make sure you keep them pretty slim because if you do and they can it's a risk that they will pass away you don't ever want to overfeed an animal because it's always a risk and yeah that's gonna be it for this video and see you guys